Hello everybody and welcome back to Brimple Plays Blackthorn Arena. This is chapter 3, episode 5. When we left off, we were getting prepared for the spring games because it's only 12 days away and we were considering training Baldi to be a battle monk. However, we are running very low on time and we need to get some serious training in because we'd like to be level 12 for the spring games. Why would we like to be level 12 for the spring games? because it would make us feel a lot better. But, I don't know what we can realistically take on right now with just Dumbo, Lark, and Yarrow available. Maybe Rosie. This is a little bit harder than what they could possibly do. Unfortunately, as is that, I think. And you might say, hey, Rosie and Lark can probably take these two on. I have my doubts. I think they are not really a good team yet. Joy? Is Joy working against me? Hmm. We're going to refuse his challenge. We don't need to take the risk right now. Not with so few days until the spring games. A level 10 and a level 4. But he's got a two-handed sword. This a Dun guy. I think I remember him now. Not somebody that you want to take lightly. Hmm. I don't feel great about sending two people in there right now. I want to have a major gear advantage before I try to take on Dunn, I think. Okay, a level 10 and a level 2. Is it a trap? Kind of. Is it worth it? Yeah. How many days do we have until spring games? 10? And how many days will it take for Baldi to train as a battle monk? Seven days. We better get started. A green caravan is tempting. But we will just continue to train and we will send these two out to earn a little bit of cash. We're sending two powerful people because their powerful person, their level 10, is an archer. Archers are very good at getting kills. I don't want them to kill my person, so I'm trying to stack the deck a little bit. Imagine if Carlson died here. And I hope I'm not speaking that into existence. Oh no, he's in full veteran light gear. This dude came to kill. very well. He missed his first shot. He doesn't have the curving arrows. So, Ooh! We got him with the blinding dust. He loved to see that. That's huge. I'm not sure it did much for us in that instance, but um, we got it. So, Nice. We poisoned him. The poison is huge. Okay, there we go. And another blinding dust. Yeah, it's over for Baldrick Mistwalker. I might kill this guy. He's geared way too well. Well, I said that, but the crowd really wants him to live. I guess we'll let him live. For eight favor? Ah, No, I should have killed him. Oh well. Carlson is a force right now. He's just got good point investment in the one-hand tree. One-hand tree is pretty powerful for 1v1s, as well as the rogue tree. You combine those and you do high damage and you have high defense. I'm going to tolerate that. You're in training, obviously. I knew that. 
Rosie, you're not doing anything. You gotta get training. It's like you're the most important person to be training right now. Let's go here. This will be great experience for everybody. Lark, we will give you a weapon. No, we better send Yarrow as our backup backup. And here is your crossbow, you big dum-dum. Should probably spend your points and not call you a dum-dum again. We could go ranged, and that's not a bad idea, but I wanted to invest more in the marksman tree. And I wanted to do so using strength, but precision would be good too. I can afford both. No, I can't. Well, that's life. Anyways, we are going to get impacting arrow for sure. Certainly three points in Ride the Winds. Why wouldn't we get additional damage? And then a final point into Jumping Arrow. Good for us. Rosie, I should have trained you, but that's okay. We're going to give you additional defenses and give you the capability of picking up additional offenses. Criminal offenses. Get out of here. Nope, I'm not taking that. It's just you, Dumbo. Where are you? Just you. What can you do by yourself? I don't see anything here available for Dumbo. So I guess we will skip this turn. We're not going to talk to that guy. We don't care about him. We don't need to look at that. I guess we don't need anything from that guy. And we are going to attack at night. No, some of... Oh, there's Joy again. He's really after us. Some of you are probably thinking, you know, that I could go bet on a fight on the turns that we're not fighting. But, um... I, I feel like that's a long time spent for very little reward. And that would take up a lot of time in episodes. And it wouldn't even be my people fighting, right? So, not to say what's the point, but eh. Do I want to send a level 5 to fight a level 9 just for? No. It'd be interesting to hire some mercenaries and go raid this caravan with just one guy. But, no. Not yet, anyways. I am really worried about Baldi dying in the spring games. I wish we had better gear for Baldi. And everyone. I wish we had just much better gear for everybody in general. But, I made some reckless errors early, and we lost some people. We got behind by a little bit. I think we've done a good job of catching up, really. You know, I'm thinking I'm powerful enough to fight these people at daytime now. And by the time you get to yellow caravans, you are absolute. You should be powerful enough to fight them during the daytime, no matter what. At least that's my opinion. I'm certainly strong enough to fight them during the daytime for blues. I don't know why I keep fighting them at nighttime now. Hmm.
a boar. Who will go? Not you, Carlson. I don't want you to go fight the pig. Even though you are best suited to fight the pig, I do not want you to fight a pig for 20 silver. Ah, Lark is going to drive me crazy with that crossbow training, I swear. Lark, can we send you out? 15 silver to beat down this level 4 Lark. I bet you're too chicken to do it. Hmm. We really ought to send Dumbo on something like this. Give him an opportunity to earn his keep. Do we replace the long sword or the long club? I think you replaced the long sword. And really, a Qatar is better than the club, I think. I know what you're thinking. I'm going towards Battle Monk. You're, you're going to say, I've seen this one before. No, no, no. I'm a changed man. Dumbo is a gladiator. He's also a berserker. He needs endurance and willpower. And strength. Two willpower. Perfect. Well, we'll become a gladiator soon enough, and we'll go send Dumbo out to fight now. I should probably get a new bow for Lark prior to the start of the spring games, because he does have just a terrible bow right now. I'd like to get him a blue quality crossbow, one that hits really hard. He doesn't need to stick around forever, he just needs to be able to hit them with that. Alright Dumbo, let's see it. Okay, nicely done. Nice to see Dumbo get in the mix, earn his keep finally. Be a much better reservist than prior reservists. Spring Games is only a few days away. Thank you, Apu. We can take you out and put you in. You are one day from finishing training. God, I hate you, Lark. Hmm. We do have enough time to go after a chest, but I'd rather focus on single turn events. We should put you in here now, seeing as how you're so beat down. Actually, we're going to do that, and now you're not beat down. It's crazy how that works. You will use all three of these because I love unarmed combat and battle monks. And that's what you will now be as a battle monk. And we are going to give you a new tactic where at the point where you enter combat you will cast energy shield on yourself. Wonderful. Oops, let's go back to your skills. 
and remember that you didn't need anything else, did you? Endurance, actually. Yeah, you need endurance. Because we want, we need to make you Berserker to get you some better survivability. Baldy, you can come back in here as can Dumbo. Lark, you are upset. Don't be so upset. Just have a drink. Not long before the spring games. Maybe I go to the market real quick and do some shopping. There's a fine heavy crossbow. We could go with that. It's just that it's got such a slow attack speed. I don't know that it's worth it. We always appreciate veteran gear, though. We'll always take that if we see it. Maybe if we give him a heavy crossbow, Lark that is, he won't be so annoying in general. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I feel like I'm trying to come up with solutions. Hmm. Now a death immunity potion is interesting. But that's about it, because it doesn't actually work. A blunt head quiver. Hmm. We'll take it. Do we go back for that heavy crossbow? I think so. I think we do. Because I hate the sound of his training right now. That's it. That's the entire reason. But that's enough reason. There we go. And I got him the blunt head quiver, which you have to assume means bolts. So that's got to be the right ammo for him. And I'm sure he will be doing just fine in combat. Okay, Lark. There you are. I guess I could have got you some better gear at some point. But I don't like you. Rosie, you ought to spend points. What can you learn? Unfortunately, not unyielding. What about fortress? You could learn fortress. Would that be worth your time? We'll give you charge attack. We want to have a successful two-handed weapon user that isn't a Ronin. Lark, we should spend your points even if we don't like you. I guess in strength, because that's what we were working no, or precision. It was precision we needed. Yes. Okay.
whoever he does shoot, he will shoot for a lot of damage initially. Not a bad way to begin. Where was Duelist? There it is. Did we want counter cut or did we want more points into our defenses? Probably into our defenses. Carlson will become very annoying for all of his enemies. Two days until the spring games, and this could go poorly, so we'll just ignore it and we'll just go to the spring games. We're not in need of money, we don't need to risk anything. And everybody's got the right obedience, don't they? Eight is kind of low, but whatever. Yero, do we need to spend your points on account of the fact that you're a backup and we really don't want to lose you, but we may? You need three strength, three precision. Can we accomplish that? Yes. We didn't need it, though. And Dumbo, I will not spend your next point. Not yet. I don't believe in you yet, Dumbo. Let's go take what is rightfully ours in the spring games. Carlson, you ought to cheer up before you go out. I'm serious. You cannot be going out there that upset. You're going to throw the whole thing away if you do. Baldy? kind of feel like you ought to have one as well, but I won't risk it with you. We're going to put some additional... Ooh, do I need additional points into energy shield? Or quick kick? Look at this. We'll do one and one. Perfect. Let us get going to the Spring Games. This is where Chapter 3 either lives or dies. We had a really rough start to this, so it's going to feel great if we come out on the other side victorious. We're going to bet on games that are in favor of 1.8. I don't know about 1.9s, but 1.8, I feel like we should win those ones. Hey, look, we have a 1.8 odd. We like that. That's Barrel Nester? I thought Barrel Nester was a man. Alright, well. Now that's a tough team. That's a much tougher team. This team should crush that team. I don't know who's going to be fighting this yellow team next. I just hope it's not me. Oh, hey, actually, Remington Butcher died, so I wouldn't mind fighting this team now. Because I believe the AI does not replace their dead. Massey is very powerful. Please, I yield. 
I don't think they care. I'm not sure why we watched that whole fight. Here's my team looking a little disheveled. Not really great gear on my team. We didn't have a lot of money though because we had to spend a lot of money hiring new gladiators as a result of the frequent deaths that occurred. Ooh, wow. Lark, have you considered not attracting so much attention to begin with? Please, I yield. It's, it's a little too late for that. They're on you. You gotta run. I gotta hand it to him, you know, that was that was a big hit. Baldy took barely any damage. What if we sent somebody else in instead of Lark for the next fight? No, I think Lark can go one more. Should he go one more though? I don't know. We'll skip the next fights that are not ours. We do want to get through the spring games in this episode, just to finish it out. Man, it seems like every team has at least one person decked out in full veteran gear. That's what we wanted. You know, I also wasted a lot of time by attacking at night rather than day when we went to those caravans. So, something to consider for the next chapter. Plus going forward if I make it through the spring games in this chapter. We have to bet on ourselves. No other fights to bet on. They're all kind of close. Oh, cool, I am fighting the team with just three people. Now, one of them is decked out in heavy veteran, but in a three on four, you would think I could find a way to overcome that. Especially when one of my guys punches through steel. Yep. Yeah, he can, he can pick up anybody and slam them. Not animals, but people? Absolutely. Small animals? No. Absolutely not. Big people? Absolutely. Rosie, how's it going over here? Well, surprisingly, you didn't let Lark die. And you got a heal out of it? Things are going well. Ooh, I do. Oh, pfft. Wow, Baldy was ripping him up. Now, I acknowledge that was a 3v4, so I should have one, but he was ripping him up. And that's why we have somebody proficient in unarmed combat. Because we believe in it. 183 damage, so nowhere near Rosie and Carlson, but... You bring a lot of utility. You're very cool, and you bring a lot of utility. Okay, I didn't like that. I don't know which team had two people with veteran gear, but I, I didn't like it. This guy is a veteran. I'm sure the other people have veteran. Ah, oh, the Cobra's won. Oh. You don't want to fight against a team with a Cobra. Of course you expect to see a Cobra get to the end. You guys gotta take out the Cobra. We're gonna bet on our team. We're gonna watch the next fight as well. Because we want to... Kind of like Pandora's box. You want to open it and modify the outcome of the fight by observing it. Um, this looks really dangerous. 
We're against two people with veteran gear. Light veteran. But veteran. Ooh, and Lark is, uh, dead. Yeah, Lark is actually dead. He just got wrecked. Well, you have to expect that. That's why you have backups. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think you cast... I was going to say cast energy shield. Oh my gosh, well we've lost the spring games. I'm wondering. I can't remember. Well, you're dead as well. Talking a lot of trash, Barrel Nester. So I cannot host the Grand Games as a result of losing the Spring Games. Hmm. Well, I believe that means that this chapter has come to an end. Not entirely surprising. Disappointing, no doubt. Well, that's the end of this episode, and it's the end of Chapter 3. We'll have to start up Chapter 4. Thank you for watching me lose. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next chapter.